Hey everybody, welcome back to Champion Sons and our NCAA 24 football coaching dynasty here as we are coming down to the final two games of our regular season. First up, we are on the road on the snowy fields of Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Cornhuskers. Being on the road, it's been kind of tough for us at times. We are a pretty good team. I think we do sell some deficiencies, um, but we, we play fairly solid overall. Now, in the college football playoff, we are a one-loss team. We have been moved up to number six in the nation as far as our ranking goes in the playoff. So we are definitely in the hunt. We got a lot of stuff ahead of us here the final two weeks. We have booked our shot at the conference title game. Um, right now, I believe USC, since we have moved them into the Big Ten, are in the lead of the other division. So that one will be a tough matchup, um, assuming everything holds true through these through this final episode. But being number six means we've got a shot at the playoffs in our first year as the offensive coordinator of a Big Ten school. These games recently have been a lot closer than what makes me comfortable for the most part. Um, but they've been hard fought. Like I said, we're tested. And that's kind of really something you want. You want to be a tested team. You don't want to just ease your way into the really big games because that's when you get hit and you don't know how to bounce back from it. Now, being on the road against Nebraska, they are a little down on the season right now. Um, they, they're not in any type of ranking or anything. So this one, we should be able to handle them fairly easily. But being on the road, as you know, that can always make things tougher. And it does put us in a possible upset scenario. So we're going to go ahead and enter this game here in the first quarter on our opening drive. As Helensky hands that one off to Cam Porter going to the right side, he's stuck for no gain. Remember, Cam Porter is going to be our main running back right now with Evan Hull being out injured with, I believe, the broken leg um, for the remainder of this regular season. So now on second and ten, we're going to be in a shotgun. Two back set, has the snap. Helensky stands in the pocket. Pressure comes late, nowhere to go with it. He tried to give Tyus a second to get behind those linebackers. He just couldn't get there quick enough, and that's going to result in a sack and a third and 15. So we are on the plus side of the field at the 39-yard line here with 15 yards to go for the first down. Helensky has the snap. Pressure comes late, fires that one over the middle, and it's going to be deflected away, almost intercepted, and they will pause our drive right there. Now, after that punt and Nebraska would go down and score, then we'd punt it again and Nebraska would score again. So here we are trailing by 10 now in the second quarter. Our defense is having a trouble with the snow and the environment um, of being in the stadium on the road. You know, it's always going to be a tough thing, even being number six in the country. So after that game, we pick up seven yards, have a second and three. As we hand that one off to Porter up the middle, a little hole opens up. He squirms right on through, picks up seven more yards right there to give us a brand new set of downs. Porter's now starting to open things up, getting 18 yards on just three carries. We are just outside of the red zone at the 23-yard line as Helensky is going to be in the shotgun. We got four wide this time. Hands that one off to Tyus going to the left side. Hit and brought down Tony Tyus, five yards. Picks up a good good gain that we need on first down. That's going to be key throughout the rest of this one is we've got to get good plays on the first down um, to make second down e that much easier on us. So second down in the shotgun. Four wide again. Hand that one off to Tyus one more time. Bounces off his blockers. Oh, Nick Heinrich pushed our center right back into us. Tyus couldn't get around him and tripped over him. So no gain right there. Now it's third and five. Porter's back in. Laying slot right, has the snap. Helensky drops back, fires over. He's got Jacob Gill into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Plenty of touch on that one as he dropped it into the basket for Gill, and he takes it to the house. Granted, it's only 20 yards, but takes it in, and that would get us at least on the board. Now, our defense would have trouble stopping Nebraska in the later on in the second quarter and they would go up by 10 once again. We've been in this spot. This is a familiar spot for us. We just have to continue to cut into this one play at a time. Hand that one off to Porter. He picks up good yardage and a first down, so it's first and 10 at the 32. 
So here we come out set four wide this time. Porter in the backfield, offset to our right side. Helensky looks over the defense, has the snap, rolls out to his right, fires it late. He's going to hit Dennis down the right sideline, and he's brought down at about the eight-yard line. Dennis coming all the way across the field. Helensky did a great job scrambling out of the pocket to give Dennis time. And then once again, another beautiful little touch pass onto it to get that one dropped into him as he makes the catch and picks up the additional yardage. So first and goal from the eight, trailing by ten. As we are here in the third quarter, seven and a half minutes remaining. We're going to come out set in a shotgun. Two, receiver, two running backs, three receivers set. Helensky looks over the defense, makes changes to it. Call has the snap. Pressure comes. Fires that one over the middle to Gill. He makes the catch and the touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Gill with a his 12th touchdown on the season, making his record. And Helensky gets his 45th touchdown of his career. And that's saying something for Northwestern football right there. So here we are after forcing a turnover. By Nebraska, handing off to Porter to the right side. Momentum coming back our way. We're only down by three now. The score is 17 to 14 as we pick up seven yards on that second and 10. Get it all the way to the 22 yard line. So, third and three. We're going to come out in the shotgun. Four wide. Hooper Price, slot right. Helensky has a snap, hands it off to Porter up the middle. Little hole opens up and he picks up seven yards. Picking up a first down. He's got 63 yards on nine carries. He's averaging seven yards a carry so far in this one. On the snowy fields of Lincoln at Memorial Stadium, Porter is dominating. So first and ten from the pistol. Hand it off to Porter once again, and they get through and bring him down, and there's going to be a flag. A double whammy as we are called for holding. And it looks like they may be accepting that penalty. Our center did hold, so that's going to make it first and 20. I don't know if I'd take second and 10 or first and... I mean, okay, yeah, I know me well enough to know I would accept that holding penalty too. Um, so now it's first and 20 here for our offense as we're on about the 25-yard line. Helensky in a shotgun formation, has the snap, stands in the pocket, fires it to Gill, who makes a diving catch. Six yards only on that one because he had to dive to make it, and that's going to make it second and 14 as we are now inside the red zone at the 19-yard line, once again inside the red zone. 14 yards is the line to gain. Helensky in the shotgun formation, makes changes at the line. Looks like they're going to bring a blitz, have the snap. They drop back, pressure comes, and he trips over. He was scrambling, and he tripped over his left tackle. Sack will go to Ty Robinson, but really that was our left tackle. You see Helensky just hit his back foot. And he couldn't, didn't know what to do with himself, and so he falls to the turf. Now it's third and 15. Not the position you really want to be in. So we're going five wide here. Helensky has the snap. Pressure comes up the middle. He throws that one, and it's almost intercepted. But Lynham got rid of it and decides to put the hit on. And that's going to put down our player for at least the remainder of that quarter. Now we did kick a field goal, and Nebraska probably went down promptly went down and got a touchdown. So now we're trailing by seven once again into the fourth quarter. So we get that pass off to Dennis, and he makes the catch and gets us a first down and a brand new set here. He's got 86 yards on five catches. Helensky's 18 of 22, just over 200 yards on the day. So at the 22-yard line, first and 10, trailing by seven on the road. Helensky's going to be in a shotgun, four wide set. Has the snap. It's going to be an option. Hands it off to Porter, breaking tackles, and picks up six yards up the middle. Cam Porter, 69 yards on 11 carries uh, so far this afternoon here, coming into the fourth quarter, just over eight minutes remaining. So now we're going to bring three receivers to our left side from the shotgun formation. Helensky makes more changes at the line. Has the snap. Stands in the pocket. Pressure comes. He's going to roll out to his right. Throws it over. It gets to Dennis, and that's going to be at the line to gain. Dennis made a great diving catch, but the defender hit him, knocked him to his feet. But we will get forward progress and have a first and 10 at the 12-yard line. So here we come out. Helensky's going to be in the shotgun. Hands it off to Porter going to the left side. Bounces off one tackler. Keeps pushing forward. And Porter picks up four yards on that one. 
That was a good physical run by him. And that's the kind of run that even at this point of the game, we can look to try to wear this defense down with. So second and six now. As Helensky is going to stay in the shotgun, hands out to Porter, going back to the left side, cuts it up the middle, and Porter gets brought down after a gain of five, making it third and one now from the two-yard line. We don't need a touchdown right now. We just need the first down. So third and one, going to be in an offset pistol formation. Helensky has the snap, hands it off to Tyus up the middle. It's going to be into the end zone for a touchdown, but there's a flag. We saw the flag come down, and they're going to call holding. Holding once again on our center, Rayther, his second holding call of the game. And that's going to wipe our touchdown off the board and move us back to the 12-yard line. So now it's third and 11. Needing to try to recover from that holding penalty. Helensky is going to be in the shotgun, has the snap. They bring a blitz, fires it over the middle. That's going to be intercepted by Farmer. And he's going to cut right. Bounces off a tackler. Cuts back to the left side. He's got nobody who's going to get him. Farmer's going to take this thing. Not basically a 100-yard pick six. We went from a tied ball game to trailing by 14 thanks to a holding call by our center. He could hold a blocker, but good Lord, he could not hold a defender that had the damn ball. And that's going to put us down by 14. 14 here with five and a half minutes remaining. We were right there and that mistake killed us. So the score is 31 to 17, five minutes to go. As we're going, hurry up as we fire that one over. We got Florima down the right side. He makes the catch and is brought down after an 18 yard gain, picking up the first down. Good job to get the release and get around his defender and a great throw by Helensky to drop that one in. So right at the 49-yard line is where they mark us down at on our own side of the field. We have a first and 10. As we come out set now, just under five minutes remaining. Helensky's going to be in a pistol formation. Sends Porter in motion to the flat. Helensky has the snap, throws it off to Hooper Price. He makes a turn and cuts forward and picks up 12 yards and another first down. Hooper Price, his third catch on the day, and here we go. No huddle offense. Not a whole lot of time. We've got to be able to try to score and get the ball back. Helensky has the snap. Fires it over the middle for Price again. Makes a catch once more. And that's another first down on this drive. So here we are on the move about the 25-yard line. We're about the 20-yard line. And can't hardly tell because of the snow. 25. And we throw that one off to the right side. Hooper Price, third catch in a row. And that's our second catch in a row. That's going to make it 15 yards and a first down. So here we are cutting into it, trying to fight back on this one. We're not going away just yet. He got out of bounds. And that's going to be first and 10 from the 10 yard line. Just over four minutes remaining. Helensky staying with the four wide and the shotgun has the snap. Pressure comes up the middle, throws it over, and that's going to be picked off by Snodgrass. That's going to be picked off our third turnover of the day. Helensky's second interception, and that is a killer. And that would do it for us. I mean, we would get one more touchdown, but it would be pointless in the end. Uh, just too many mistakes. You know, in the other games, they didn't kill us because, I want to say because the teams were playing, but Nebraska's all that much, not all that much better. Um, it just piss poor performance. We, we weren't ready. We got to number six in the playoff rankings, and we just were not ready to be that team. You know, it's really our first time there. Um, and we just played like shit, to be honest. I mean, we, we did. We made some good plays, don't get me wrong, but... In the end, when we had to have them, we're used to getting them when we have to have them, but just unable to pull that off, and that's going to be our second loss of the season. We are 9-2 and two as we come into our rivalry game against uh, the Fighting Illini from Illinois. Now, we will be playing that game at Soldier Field. Um, that should be an interesting one. Once again, I hate to say it's a game that we should win because we really should have won this game, but we played like crap. And I don't like playing like that coming into these big games. Now, we just lost to Nebraska. We, we've got to find a way 
to make it back. We are nine and two, so we have booked our place in the conference title game. Leader winners of the Legends Division. Leaders, it is gonna looks like it is gonna be USC um, coming into this final game. I'm not sure how theirs is gonna work out, especially when you got Michigan and Ohio State still to go. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with them and who we do take on in the Big Ten championship game. But we need to have some momentum going our way. So here we are at Soldier Field, taking on Illinois. They're two and six in the conference, three and eight on the season. We are nine, nine and two on the season, seven and one in conference play. We beat teams like Michigan. We beat teams like Penn State, but we just couldn't overcome that hurdle of being in the snowy fields of Lincoln at Memorial Stadium, and they beat us. So now we got to bounce back. This is a get yourself right game before we go into that Big Ten championship. That's what this is, and it's what we need. We need to put it on Illinois. And, you know, we've had a habit of letting teams hang around, starting slow, what have you. We've got to stop that. This is our opportunity. This is our chance to stop that from happening. And so we are going to come out here and get ready for this one. As we have dropped now... Drop down to the number 13 team in the nation here in the playoff rankings as we are on our opening drive first and 10 finding Marshall Lang over the middle making the reception for 13 yards coming out and I like this start to this drive to this game that we're having as we are moving the ball down the field that's a good sign that's what you want to see happening and that's going to make it first and 10 from the 22 yard line Helensky has the snap play action Rolls out to his right side and on the move makes a horrible throw. Pressure was coming up in his face right there, but that throw was just ugly. And it falls incomplete, so it's second and ten. Here from back from our 22 yard or from the 22 yard line. Helensky's gonna stay in a shotgun. Four wide. It's gonna be an option keeper. He takes off up the middle, gets hit and brought down after a gain of seven yards, bringing us to a third and manageable which is a third and three, and that's what we need. We didn't have that too often in the last game. We definitely need to have it in this one. It makes your life that much easier. So third and three. Helensky's going to stay in the shotgun. Four receivers, three to the right. Hands it off to Porter. They bring a blitz from their outside defender, and he's going to bring Porter down. He couldn't escape. He gets brought down for a one-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth and two from the 14-yard line, and we are going for it. Not only is this a rivalry game, this is a game that we need to step up and make a statement. So fourth and two, Helensky making changes at the line, and that's going to clock is going to run out. He didn't pay attention to the play clock, and that's going to be a delay of game. Five-yard penalty, there goes our shot at going for it, so we had to kick the field goal. And what happened? Illinois went down and scored a touchdown. So now they lead us seven to three here in this game that time we hand it off to porter he picks up three yards he's got 25 yards on four carries so far this afternoon a pretty decent day for him um, in this first quarter so second and seven just uh, about a minute 40 seconds remaining here in the first we're going to come set in a pistol formation two tight ends two receivers left Linsky has a snap Play action rolls out to the right. Almost gets sacked. Escapes down the sideline. Fumbles it out of bounds, but it will go out of bounds, thankfully. As he picks up six yards, and that's going to make it third and two. Ooh, a risky play right there. Zelensky almost had catastrophe written all over it. So third and two. Coming out in a shotgun once again. Helensky, an option. He's going to keep it. He's got some space to the left side. Tries to make a cut, but is brought down after a gain of five, but still gets the first down. So a brand new set here for this Wildcat offense. As we are at the 28-yard line on the plus side of the field and on the move. Helensky is going to be in a pistol formation this time. Three receivers. Gill, slot right. Kurtz, wide right. Has the snap. Blitz comes. Helensky still in the pocket. Fires it late over, and that one's almost intercepted. Looking for Lang. Coming across the field, that was a little too late right there. I mean, he at that stage, you got to make a choice and bail and get some yards, but don't turn the damn ball over. Don't throw that kind of pass. So second and 10, thankfully, we still have possession. Helensky has a snap. It's going to be an option keeper up the middle. Tries to make a cut and gets put to the turf hard. But after an eight-yard gain, that's going to make it third and two here. 
as Helensky comes up after that one a little slow. You can tell he's kind of, I don't, I wouldn't say he's shaking up, but he definitely does not feel good after that hit. So third and two, sticking with the pistol formation. Helensky sends Porter in motion, has a snap, rolls out to the right, fires it over to Porter down the sideline, makes the catch, but he stepped out. He had the end zone right in front of him. And Cam Porter steps out at the last second. And so he is going to be marked short of the end zone, but about the one-yard line is where they are going to put him down. And so that's first and goal as this quarter comes to an end. So at the end of one, 9-2 and two Northwestern, number 13 in the country. We are trailing the Fighting Illini, who are 3-8 and eight on the season. 3-8. and eight. And they are beating us right now after one quarter. That's not... Not where you want to be. So here we come set in a shotgun formation. Helensky has the snap. Hands it off to Porter up the middle. Walks it into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. The lead is ours here early in the second. As a everything, once you spread them out, there is no stopping us on that one. So Illinois would go down and score a touchdown. Then we'd return the kickoff for a touchdown. And retake the lead here later on in the second quarter. As you see, there's still five and a half minutes remaining. We lead 17 to 14 after some big plays are happening in special teams um, for us. So second and one at the 40-yard line of Illinois. As we come set with three receivers from the shotgun formation, Gill slot right, has the snap. They bring a blitz, fired over to Gill on the right side there. He makes the catch and is hit hard. Jacob Gill makes eight yards, but that hit looked like it. Man, I, it's hard to describe a hit that violent, you know, that he just got put straight on his back. So first and ten after that catch. Helensky has the snap, fires it over. He's got Lang this time, tries to stiff arm his way forward, picks up five yards, though, and gets us, you know, gets us moving down to the 27. Some positive yards there. Little gains at a time I'm fine with. Just get us the first down, make the catch, and we will eventually find our way into the end zone. Second and five. Hands off to Cam Porter to the left side. Breaking tackles, but he gets bottled up. They, it, looks, it looks like they knew we were going to that side. Porter was able to break one tackle, but could not break tackles from the rest of the team, and he gets put down for no gain. Third and five now from the shotgun formation. Three receivers. Helensky has a snap. They bring a blitz. He fires it off to Porter on the right side. Stiff arming, and they're going to mark him down one yard short. You've got to be kidding me. His wrist did go down. It looks like at the one yard short line. Really half a yard short, but, oh, they should have just given it to us. Fourth and one. Helensky hands that one off to Porter up the middle. He's got an opening and a first down. Four yards. He needed about 13 inches. He got four yards, more than enough, and that's going to get us inside the red zone here with a first and 10. Coming up on two minutes remaining in the first half, we do lead 17 to 14. From the pistol, Helensky has the snap, rolls out to the right, fires it over to Tyus on the right side, makes a move to the outside and gets brought down after a gain of 13 yards at around the seven-yard line, it looks like. And that's going to be first and goal, and they're actually going to mark him out at the six. So we will have first and goal from the six. About a minute, 45 seconds remaining in this first half. Kalinske staying in the shotgun. Has the snap. Hands off to Porter going left. Little hole opening. Lowers his shoulder. Porter picks up five yards. Just to the one, uh, probably half yard line again. They are going to claim it's the one, but it's about the half yard line. Porter gets down there, and that's going to set us up with a second and goal. Not going in any real hurry up here. Letting time tick away. Hand that off to Ricky Joseph. He's up the middle for the touchdown. Our fullback does it for the Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Joseph used to block, and this time he got to carry it in himself. And that would give us a 10-point lead going into half. Now, here in the third quarter, it's, it's kind of a slower start. This is our opening drive of the third. We have a second and 10 now. We are on the plus side at the 43-yard line. Two receivers running into each other on that first down play, resulting in an incomplete pass. So second and 10. Helensky stays in the shotgun, hands it off to Porter up the middle, bounces off one blocker to the left side, and is brought down after a gain of two. Third and eight. Porter's only got 46 yards on 11 carries. Take that versus his average he's had the last couple games. 
Man, his production's almost cut in half, it seems like. So third and eight. Helensky from the shotgun. They bring a blitz. He fires that one over. He's got Dennis on the left side there. Makes a catch and is tackled harshly to the turf. That's Dennis's first catch of the day. All the way here in the third quarter. Gets 13 yards and a first down. A great play to find him as the pressure was coming in from that big-time blitz. So first and 10. Helensky in a shotgun. Has a snap. Fires it over to Lang on the drag pattern. Pushes forward, and Lang's going to pick up eight yards on that reception. He's got five catches already for 40 yards on the day, averaging right now at eight yards per catch. So second and two at the 20-yard line just outside of the red zone. Helensky and this Wildcat offense comes out. They're going to be in a pistol formation. Three receivers set. Helensky has the snap, hands it off to Porter, opening on the left side. He picks up just enough for the first down. So thanks to that run, this drive is still alive here as we are now inside the red zone at the 18-yard line. First and 10 Wildcats. We're going to come to the line with two tight ends to the left side. I formation. Kurtz wide right. It's going to be a play action. Helensky rolls out. Defense is on him. He throws that one up and it gets knocked down. Odaluga knocked it down. He did intercept Helensky earlier in the first half. Um, but this time he just knocks that one down. Very gracious of him, I might add. So second and 10, we're going to spread him out with four receivers set from the shotgun. Hands it off to Porter up the middle. Makes a cut and picks up seven yards. Good job by this blocking line for that guard to pull over and seal off that edge, making it third and three now uh, here at the 10-yard line. So our offense, we do lead by 10. The score is 24 to 14, five and a half to go in the third. We're going to come out with two backs set, third and three. Blitz comes. Helensky fires it over, and he's going to miss Kurtz. He had him. He had Kurtz open. He threw it just a little too hard, and Kurtz wasn't ready. So that would result in a field goal to make it 27-14, to 14, at which point Illinois would not go down without a fight, and they score a touchdown to make it 27-21. So here we are back on the move, trying to add some more separation as the fourth quarter just now gets underway. So after that seven-yard run, we have a second and three at the 35-yard line. Looking to add some more separation between us and Illinois. Three receivers left. It's going to be a play action. Blitz comes. Fires it over the middle. He's got Gill. Makes a catch for 15 yards. That's going to be his sixth catch on the day. He's got 63 yards this afternoon. Big primetime play. Great block there by Cam Porter. Didn't hardly notice that at first, but saw that one on the replay. Good job by him to block and keep that pressure off Helensky's back. So first and 10, going to be in a pistol formation. Porter in motion, has the snap, blitz up the middle, fires it over. He's got Kurtz in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's going to extend our lead out right now to 12 points. But we're going to have to go for two. I don't want to be caught in any type of bad position knowing how we can play at times. So we are going to go for two. It's 33-21. We're going to try to make it a full 14 points. 34 or 33-21, trying to make it 35. Helensky has the snap. Quick throw to Lang. He's in. Two points is good. And that's going to make it a two-touchdown game here with just under nine minutes remaining in this one. Now, Illinois would take advantage, go down and score a touchdown. Took him three minutes off the clock, too. So five minutes remaining. Helensky comes out set. First and 10. Fires that one over the middle. He's got Kurtz. Gets away from a guy, but tackled pretty briefly. Quickly there and picks up 14 yards and a first down all the way to the 44-yard line. So another first and 10. Just under five minutes remaining. The score is 35-28 Northwestern as we lead and try to seal the deal with this drive. So Alinsky making changes at the line. Has the snap. They bring a blitz. He fires it to the left side, and Dennis dropped it. There was a lot of traffic around him, but, man, he should have made that catch. He really should have made that catch. It bounced off his hands, not the defenders. So now it's second and ten after that drop pass. Helensky has the snap. Quick throw to Lang. It's going to be picked off by Bailey. Illinois picks it off, and we actually do tackle him, unlike Nebraska. But we, ah, uh, he just stepped right in front of him, and they, are, they would score a touchdown to get this game tied up. So finally here with a minute and 20 seconds left, we're going to have to try to win this game on a final drive. We don't have any option. 
We could have sealed it with the last drive, but now we got to try to win it. Illinois fighting like hell, and they've gotten this thing tied up. A minute 20 left. Three receivers to the left side. They bring a blitz. Quick throw over to Bryce Kurtz up the middle. He makes a catch and is brought down quickly. Looks like helinski has got 288 passing yard. Kurtz just gets over the century mark with that catch. Helinski staying in the shotgun. Three receivers left. Since Porter in motion wide right. Has the snap. He's going to roll out to his right. Trying to find somebody. Throws it late to Lang. He makes it. Lang tips that toe down inbounds. Right at about the six yard line. What a pitch and catch. There, Helinski to Lang. It looks like he actually got two feet down. He's, he's practicing for the NFL, Lang is. And that's actually going to be marked out at the five. One minute remaining, five yards away from winning this, or at least taking the lead at the way Radar defense has played. One minute to go. Helinski play action, rolls to the left. Quick throw. He's got Hooper Price right at the goal line. And he had to come back a little bit to make the catch, so he is stopped short at the one-yard line. His second catch of the day almost helped save our season. So we are going to let the clock run down. I don't want Illinois to have any damn time left. Helensky is going to come set eye formation. Two tight ends right. Has a snap. And he's looking for Lang over the middle, but he ran into a defender and couldn't regain his balance. And that one fell incomplete. So now it's third and goal from the one, and the clock did stop with 23 seconds remaining. As we're making changes as we come to the line in a pistol formation. Helensky. Has the snap. They bring him quick blitz. Fires it over to Dennis. What a catch but from behind him. He threw it behind Dennis. He makes the catch, and that's going to give us the lead here with seconds remaining. And here we go, folks. 15 seconds. Defense on the field, leading 42 to 35. Illinois sends a tight end in motion across their formation. Has the snap. Stands in the pocket. Throws it down to the right side and just throws it out of the bounds. Donovan Leary. He's got almost 200 yards and three touchdowns on the day. But that one did not count. Well, it did count, but just didn't go anywhere as he threw that one out of bounds. So second and 10, 11 seconds remaining. Leary has the snap, throws it over the middle, hits his receiver, and it's going to be brought down quickly. And they will call a timeout. So that makes it third and five. But they don't have much time left really to actually get two plays off. They're going to have to go for the end zone right here. Third and five. Leary has the snap. No pressure. He fires it deep over the middle. He's got him in. Makes the catch. But we're going to bring him down a yard short. He got 55 out of 56 yards he needed. And Northwestern, we will win this game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Shades of the Rams and Titans on that one. As they go deep with it in the final play of their offense. And we stop them one yard short. As we hold on for the win, we reach 10 wins on this season. A great year it was, and that's going to set us up for the Big Ten title game, um, which will be in the next episode. A great year here in our first season at Northwestern. Good job by these kids. Uh, big changes happened. They all adjusted, did, a, did phenomenal for us. Couldn't be more proud of them. But, it, hey, challenges still remain. We got the Big Ten title game coming up, and we'll see who officially we're going to play here at the end of this thing. So on that note, um, I do just want to remind you all to hit the subscribe button if you have not hit it already. And if you did enjoy today's video, um, you're liking how college football is going, excited for when the playoffs do come around here in the winter season, hey, definitely give us a thumbs up. It does help out the channel, and we, I greatly appreciate all the support you all have shown us um, over the time here. Just thank y'all so much. I'm incredibly grateful for it. And just, yeah, that's really about all I can say about that. And it looks like we will be taking on the number seven USC Trojans in the Big Ten title game. That'll be in that next episode, everybody. So I will see y'all in that episode. So as always, stay safe. And well, y'all know how it goes by now, right? Later, y'all.